In this video, we will discuss about pre-printed consent form. Is it legally valid? I have received this query. It raises few questions. It says that whenever they work in the hospital, their seniors insist for obtaining handwritten consent form. So question is, is it really necessary to obtain handwritten consent form? Is it legally valid to obtain handwritten consent form? If the consent is blanket one and if that consent can fit into any procedure, any doctor and any patient, then it is not valid. Whether it is handwritten or pre-printed does not matter. It means that any type of consent, whether handwritten or pre-printed, if it is a blanket one, it is not valid. If consent, whether handwritten or pre-printed, does not mention the nature of the disease patients have had, does not mention the nature and procedure of the treatment and its purpose, benefits and effect, does not mention the name of the procedure and its possible complications, it just mentions that doctor had explained about all the possible complications without enumerating the complications of the said procedure, operation, etc. It does not mention about the specific complications of anesthesia, etc. Such consent is not valid. Means, once again, the blanket consent is not valid. Whether it is handwritten or pre-printed does not matter. So, take-home message could be, if the pre-printed consent form is made as per the guidelines given by the Supreme Court in the Samira Kohli case, then it is absolutely valid. I have already covered this video on Samira Kohli case guidelines. I am giving the link in description box below. However, it should be in the language known to the patient. My advice, this advice is not legally mandatory. Put a blank space at the end of the consent form for writing two to three lines and take the following handwritten statement from the patient in it. Statement could be, I have understood all the above information given in this form. Thank you so much.